you imagine if Xiao Hai can take this in a pool of killer Japanese players right now to be able to go home to China and say that I took this over all these players would be a huge accomplishment for yes. him. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Xiao Hai here from China, Round Tokyo one. here from Japan. Fight. Both players have had a lot of success in other games. This reminds me very much of a certain Evo uh, Grand Finals. Right. We saw a couple don't, years ago. Don't forget that we saw Xiao Hai uh, do really well against Daigo. Blew up Daigo's Ryu. He uppercut it through Daigo's fireball like maybe two or three times. So let's see what kind of adjustments Tokido can make. Yeah, I, I would say we're already seeing a different play. Tokido has escaped the corner. He's been more, more proactive about pressing buttons and about jumping in. Those are things that Daigo rarely did. And that, that use of the stored charged fireball is something that really very few of you did after the first week, but it feels like we're coming back to it now. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like the buttons that Tokido has been hitting a little bit better th yeah. than, than what Daigo was doing. Well, he just has more active play. It's not, it, he's walking around, he's, yeah. he's walking backwards a lot, but he's not only doing that. There's jumps forward, even when he is playing this defensive, patient game, there are buttons being hit. You know, Shai, there are things that he's doing. So he has to be careful now, Tokido. Oh, wait, never mind. Here comes, yes, uppercut in the super. And just like that, Xiao Hai should be able to take this first round. No, not quite. Not quite. Oh, oh wow. Gutsy. Shout outs to, I'm going to quote a New York, a favorite New York player here. You know Scare, I know Scare. He got right up there, threw him, and took that first round. Just continuing trying to apply this offensive pressure to Xiao Hai. Xiao Hai is really good. You know, you, you talked about his reactions. Okay? That's something everybody thinks about Xiao Hai for. But his choice of buttons, his whiff punishes are just, they're some of the best. They really are. And that's something that comes in if you have good reactions, of course. But on top of that, you need to be in the right spot. Okay? You can't do that from anywhere. And he is consistently in the right spot on screen to make those happen. Oh, and there's that uppercut to go right through the fireball. Beautiful stuff from Xiao Hai, recognizing that he was within range. And Tokido even tried to back up a little bit to get out of that range. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's tough. A lot of range on that Dragon Punch. Yeah, that roundhouse uppercut, that roundhouse cannon spike goes ridiculous distances. I do think it's important to see Tokido fighting. You know, he's, again, there's a lot of patience, there's a lot of moving backward. But he's picking good times to throw fireballs, good times to jump. He is not keeping it easy. Wow, Ooh, Roundhouse! Just goes into the knee below. Oh no, no he missed! And Tokido with the presence of mind to quick rise, but then he drops his combo! I wonder if he thought he's on the opposite side? Yeah, could have been. Ooh! Any hit could do it. Tokido could confirm into super. And Xiao Hai, look, there's the time turning out. 12 seconds left. Oh, oh he EX is gone. One. Wow, and a trade, I believe that. Was that standing light kick or standing medium kick that he traded with? Yeah. Whatever it was, that was ridiculous. And Xiao Hai taking first game. Remember, the winner of this is guaranteed to play tomorrow in the Grand Finals. Yeah, tomorrow we are doing the Grand Finals at 6 p.m. Eastern time. You will want to tune in for that. It's going to be one of these two. That's right. And it will be on this stream as well, yep. this same stream. Round one. Xiao Hai on the right, looked good. Fight. One player side. Yeah, I remember when this uh, game first came out, I really felt like Ryu uh, had an advantage over Kami. And I still felt that way even pretty recently, but watching the way Xiao Hai is playing this match, yeah. I don't... If you're consistently in exactly the right place on screen and consistently have the greatest reactions on Earth, it seems like it's, it's a pretty doable <laughs> matchup. <laughs> if you play the match perfectly, yeah, if you're a robot, like the most it's ridiculous good. player. Yeah, I, yeah, absolutely. No pressure. No. <laughs> not on him. I mean, not by the way Shao is playing. He doesn't feel any pressure. He's been doing everything so well. See, now he's trying to he's trying to outrange sweep. I feel like it's how he's playing. Trying to be outside of anything that Tokido can do can get oh, things no. going, but a missed not conversion. Yeah. Yeah. You think he was looking for the hit confirm there? Was that the goal? Yeah. Uh huh. I mean, look. Like I said, no one's actually hit confirming one crouch medium kick into drill. So there are ways to trip them up. You know, if you crouch at the last second, or if it just looks like you did something. Wow. He got baited, or I don't know, gave into something there, but it was a costly mistake. Ow, Very costly mistake. God. So much. Uh, that's a stun. 
And there it is, Tokido gonna take this one with a perfect building meter for the phantom meter counter. Yeah. I, I almost feel that for Xiao Hai, you just gotta think of that round as a wash. Okay, you made one error, you, you did a dragon punch when you shouldn't have, right? right? Everything else was, you can't get too upset about it, right? <laughs> the, you, might, you might have the inclination to think, wow, I can't believe he dealt all that damage and I died instantly. Right. <laughs> like, you, you, can't, you can't give in to that. It was a bad intended reaction or read or something. Uh, and, okay, lesson is, trying to make that mistake again. In most situations, thanks to 900 health, um, if your opponent has a full trigger and a full meter, if you win Fight. without the cut, yeah, you're pretty much dead when you're camping. Okay. So, because that's going to be a crush counter combo, potentially V trigger Fight. cancel or like some craziness. And Tokido didn't even have a V trigger cancel in that combo and still did like a with like 600 damage. Again, the mistake. Very uncharacteristic of Xiao Ai, who I think of as having some of the best reactions in any fighting game. But in this set, for some, whatever reason, there have been three times and they've been costly errors where he's been looking for the confirm or looking for the reaction and it hasn't been it's there. A, wow, he was crouching. Was he trying for an autocorrect uppercut? Didn't quite work out. Here we go, Tokido just playing very patient. Wow, gets the overhead, not enough to kill. And now here comes EX, no. No EX uppercut. He wants to save the meter, potentially. I think that Xiao Hai was trying to bait a Dragon Punch, but even if it had come there, would have been super out of it, and what? he would have died. The stand jab, the range is not very good. It is very fast. Yeah. But it was the right call. I mean, look, if they traded, the priority would have given it to Kami. Wow. And look at that. Almost half-life on just that, on just uppercut of the super. Second time that exact thing happened, where there was a super, and then immediately after Xiao Hai jumped, and immediately after Tokido had to stand around us anti -air. Yeah. To, uh, Xiao Hai has to be very clear about not getting into those traps. Oh, man. Did you see how long he walked back and forth and still got the uppercut on that fireball? It's great to have those reactions, but I do wonder if he's being too insistent about them and if that's part of why he's been making those errors. Right. You know, I wonder if he's just paying too much attention to that side of the game. Yeah, that problem is if you're if you're get too, too obsessed with trying to uppercut through fireballs, your footsie game is going to get really bad. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, the, 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 the V trigger. Going. Oh, nice. That's beautiful. Oh, no, only one hit. If he had just done short Tatsu, that might have actually killed. Oh, boy. Shao Hai lives. Gets out of there with the... Th oh, what? what? That's just... I don't know. That was not supposed to be an up. No, of, of course yeah, not. Yeah. Of course not. You win. There it is, Tokido. Now, after a great first game from Xiao Hai, Tokido's up 2-0. And part of that is Tokido playing well. And the other part is something's going on with Xiao Hai. The, yeah. the reactions haven't been there. The execution has had issues. And I'm not sure what the deal is because those are two of his strengths. Yeah, again, I, I, I feel like... I think you hit the nail right on the head. He's getting a little too obsessed with this little uppercut through the fireball thing. And so you see how he's just walking at that one range, and he's not really being threatening. Tokido doesn't have to worry about anything. He's just trying to find the right time to throw fireballs. That's it. Oh, here we go. That's that's a proper confirm. But wow, Tokido just ending that right away with a wake-up uppercut. No, nope, not a second one. Gets out of the corner, but immediately thrown right back in. It's very active defense by Tokido. He's jumping well, he's pressing buttons well. Attacking at just the right time. Oh, oh this time he did it! Yeah, he's gonna get the stun off of that. So here we go, Xiao Hai taking the first round of game four. This is four out of five. That game, or that round I should say, was definitely stronger. He had the reactions he's looking for. On top of that, everything else just seemed to go better. It, it, it seemed like when he's reacting better, maybe he's just feeling better. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's kind of what we've always talked about, how sometimes he seems like the best player in the world, and then sometimes he doesn't, right? And it could just be one of those situations where if he's just feeling it. But again, maybe I think outside of... Wow, okay, yeah, see, he doesn't look like he's trying to go for crazy uppercuts through fireballs outside of not true blocks for the situation. Oh, oh nice! Tokido okay. gets the damage and out of the corner. Try to go for the frame trap, the PD with the background house. Oh no, I forgot. Good patience from Tokido, not hitting any buttons. Tokido is very dangerous though. If he can find even a stand medium kick and confirm it, yep. might be able to end the round or be very close at least. 
Tony is standing medium kick right now is the scariest button that Ryu has. Yeah, could be beat trigger canceled, could be right su in a super afterward. Oh, he tried to go in, didn't get the combo. And again, not the combo, no confirm. He's gonna get the knockdown. And the juggle, Xiao Hai is tying it up two to two. Who's gonna be playing in grand finals tomorrow? It's one of these two players that were coming down to the last game. To Xiao Hai's credit, I thought he looked much better in that game. The things that were going wrong in the last two were not as big a problem. I, you know, I want to give a lot of credit to Tokido, but at the same time, I do feel that the reason it's 2 2 is that in two games, we've seen top level Xiao Hai, and in two games, we've seen Xiao Hai make some errors. Yeah. Uh -huh. you know, I feel like it's, it, it's largely one. on the strength of that. Fight! <laughs> Oh wow, Tokido just getting caught by the V skill. I wonder if he went for a parry or something. Now are we gonna see the different style from Tokido? Will he move forward more? Will there be more active play? Oh, looks like he's playing. Oh no, uppercut! No. Could have been dive kick. Would have taken a risk on the uppercut. That's true. Definitely active stuff. I mean it's as we've been saying, it is active defense. I think Tokido maybe should throw a few more fireballs because, like I said, I don't think Xiao Hai is trying to look to uppercut through him as much as he used to. Well, he's definitely trying to EX drill him. That's yeah. for sure. Okay, but that's, EX cool that's a much time. easier reaction yes. if you get her to spend meter and yes. it doesn't give you as much, you know, it's not as much damage. Oh! That's the second time he's done that! I think it's the third time, actually. Oh, here we go! Okay, but only at that, only sweep at that range. Yeah. No super yet. And he's been making these held fireballs count. Oh, but medium oh. kick takes it, and Xiao Hai played great in that round. What do you know? He's at match point. Round two. Is he going to be able to get to play tomorrow in the grand finals? Or is Tokido going to make a comeback? He's two rounds, and what a jump timing. Gets under, tries to bait out an uppercut from Tokido. No dice. Again, no parries from Tokido. Tokido really just hoping, I think, that Xiao Hai will make more errors. That was a, a huge part of why he got those two games, and unfortunately for him, there's not a ton that he can do to force that. Ooh, but that was too far. Challenging after that dive kick, gets the toss up, and uppercutting right in the middle. Brave stuff from Xiao Hai. Oh, he the gets jump the timing. Jump Stand jab, wake up. They both whiffed it. And this time, Xiao Hai gets the throw just. A couple of big steps left. Great block from Tokido. And knows that that's safe. Didn't try to hit any buttons afterwards. But not sure what Tokido's going Oh, okay, he's going to confirm it to Super. For, I guess. He's looking for exactly that kind of thing. Tokido can now move forward. No, he goes back to this. The defense. He's hoping to catch something. And oh, that was exactly what Xiao Hai wanted. He is in grand finals. We'll see him tomorrow. Xiao Hai. Three of those games, he just looked great.